Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Duel, aka the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. And this time around, I'm going to review Child's Play 3. Since I've recently heard from Lee from Liebelman Reviews stuff, check it, check him out, Liebelman on YouTube. He's a good guy, and because uh, he's one of the founders of the Horror Enthusiast One on One group on Facebook, and I'm on the group along with Derek from Derek's Horror Corner, Corey from. CDR, Robbie from Ogre Boy 1992, Asley from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews, Devin from Hey Isn't That Devin Graham, and Desmond from Desmond's Flicks. Plus a lot of others. Um, they're, they're, and all this week they're reviewing Child's Place. So I thought I'd go ahead and review another Child's Play while the game's good since I've already reviewed the first two movies. So if y'all haven't checked them out, check them out. And I've already gotten some likes and reviews and comments on those two already. But anyway, today I'm going to review Child's Play 3 from 1991, released by Universal nine months later after the... Second main, but however, the story takes place eight years after the events of the last movie. Andy is now a teenager, played by Justin Whalen, who actually had a was already a little bit at the time because he appeared in a few episodes of, of the fourth season of the comedy series Charles in Charge, and then after this, he would go on to play Jimmy Olsen on TV's Lois and Clark: The New Adventures of Superman. Anyway, oh, but he's he's all right as a teenage Andy. Also in the cast is Perry Reeves as the Silva, Andy's supposed love interest. Reeves would go on to be a recurring star on HBO's Entourage years later. Next would be Jeremy Silvers who plays Tyler, Chucky's new target, and the supposed new owner. Since he was supposed to go to Andy. Let's see now. And of course we have Brad Dorff once again voicing Chucky. Now, the at years after the good guys fat the good guys makers play pals reopen sorry. Uh when they get the remains of Chucky, his blood leaks and to the to the plastic and soon our tie our intro starts and anyway Chucky is soon resurrected and well Chucky's out on a rampage and I am gonna spoil this so if so I'll tell you when to stop the bit okay he goes after Mr. Sullivan who was the exec the the executive I believe of Play Pals in the last movie, but he gets them, strangles them with a yo-yo. Uh, yeah, yeah, the string of a yo-yo, that was really something. And soon and he learns Andy's all grump and now attending Kent Military Academy. He soon becomes friends with this little dude named Tyler. He can be annoying to some of y'all, I understand. He is a little bit annoying, but he's an okay character nonetheless. Well, Andy manages to get along with his roommate, Whitehurst, and everything like that, but he doesn't quite get along with everyone else, not even Lieutenant Colonel Shelton or Major Ellis. Except for De Silva, this gal is on the blue side of the group. But anyway, I, yeah, and I. I really do like Andrew Robinson, who plays Sergeant Botnick in this, the, the barber, and I mean, when he's saying Care Tyler, he's like, oh yeah, we're seeing some skin now, aren't we? Presto, you're bald. <laughs> yeah, anyway, when Tyler's supposed to bring Andy a package to him, it's revealed that it's a good guy, he wants it. And Chucky surprised him and plans to, to take his over his 
his body instead by playing hide the soul like in the second movie. But Colonel Cochran, who is the big guy at the Kami Captain, puts him in the trash, his garbage man truck, well, puts him in the trash back of the truck, and he hears voices, and he goes in looking for it, but eventually gets crushed and everything. So, and then while Tyler's trying to have some fun with Chucky, and manages to, well, get Pulled back by the silly and the nerd girl, I don't know her name though. Colonel Cochran gets shocked by as Chucky surprised him and she sends out to have a heart attack, which is the most freak freaking crazy thing, okay, to occur. But anyway, they soon prepare for a game of capture the flag. Chucky soon replaces the red team's paint shots with real live ammunition. They Go, they go after him. Chucky manages to, to try to get Tyler and everything. But soon the red team manages to catch up with him at the old Jeep and shoot Shelton. And, yeah. Yeah, I, I would tell you that. Um, now, Chucky does a pretty darn good job in trying to and getting the red team to come to where the blue team is. Here, I can do this. Red team, red team, come in, red team. Voice like, this is red team, over. We got a situation up here at the old Jeep. Blue team, Syed, advise you to move your troops in. And he turns to the steel like, hope they like the taste of lead. Now just sit back and watch the sparks fly. Once, once Shelton's while taken care of, Chucky throws a live grenade now and Whitehurst, now knowing about it, but he's scared and everything. He manages to throw a body flower and sacrifices himself. And soon, in the well, by the silver, fall into a car to Chucky and Tyler to a carnival, and, and well, they soon discover the corpse of a Security guard got shot on the head. Now this is where I'm gonna get to the end scene. So if you've not seen the ending, if you've not seen the movie, I advise you to stop the video at once. Okay. Okay. Now let's let me proceed. Now that they're on this here kind of high house roller coaster type ride, and soon Chucky manages to get um and shoots a silver right in the ankle. And, yeah, but, and I do believe, but she's okay, but tries to go and gives Andy her gun and goes after Chucky. Man, he traps Tyler, but uh, a Grim Reaper with his big side comes, or sickle comes down, slices off half of Chucky's face. That was ugh, creepy, my friends. And we see real gory bit of it. But, well, it manages to escape Chucky, but on top of a skull, mountain of skulls, and Chucky knocks him out and prepares his voodoo ritual, but Andy manages to shoot him down. Tower's okay, but Chucky manages again. Andy gets the knife he gives, gave Tyler earlier. And he cuts out Chucky's hand, throws him into the big fan at the bottom, and slices him up. Everything. Police takes Andy away, and every and all that jazz. Enough said. Child's Play Three isn't a factually bad movie. It's pretty underrated, though. I know some people don't like this movie, but I like it, though. It was the second Child's Play I saw after Child's Play Two. I have seen. The televised version with additional footage that was not shown in the theatrical version, which that was pretty cool. But anyway, I did enjoy it. Oh yeah, one of my favorite deaths was Sergeant Botnick's. He's about to cut Chucky's hair off. He takes a bit of a barber's razor and slits his throat. He's like, presto, you're dead. And then he's like, it's definitely you. Yep. Anyway, Child's Play 3, not too bad of a movie, but overall, I like it. 
So what did you think of Child's Play 3? Please feel free to let me know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to my channel. And tomorrow I'll review Bride of Chucky. Okay? And please feel free to check out the Horror Enthusiast 101 Facebook group. And, and check us out. You never know what we'll have coming up. Until next time, I'm the Big V saying, see ya.